Welcome to Maths Companion. I am Damesh. In the last video, we have discussed how to convert fractions into decimals. And there were three homeworks. Let us check the answers. First problem, write the decimal form of 7 by 10 plus 3 by 100 plus 4 by 1000. 7 by 10 is 0.7. 3 by 100 is 0.03. 4 by 1000 is 0 0.004. So we can write 7 by 10 plus 3 by 100 plus 4 by 1000 as 0 0.7 plus 0 0.03 plus 0 0.004. Now let us add it together. 0 0.7 plus 0 0.03 plus 0 0.004. There are three digits after the decimal point and there are two digits after the decimal point and there is only one digit after the decimal point. In order to make the number of digits after the decimal point equal, you can put two zeros here and one zero here. That is, you can write it as 0.700 plus 0 0.030 plus 0 0.004. Or you can do it without putting zeros like this. 7 plus 0 plus 0 is 7, 3 plus 0 is 3, and 4. So, we will get 0 0.734, that is 7 by 10 plus 3 by 100 plus 4 by 1000 is 0 0.734. Second problem, write the decimal form of 5 by 8. Here, the denominator is 8. We have to make it a power of 10. We know 8 can be factorized as 2 into 2 into 2 or 2 cube. 2 into 5 is 10. So 2 cube into 5 cube is 10 cube. That means 8 or 2 cube must be multiplied by 5 cube or 125 to make it 10 cube. So let us multiply both numerator and denominator by 125 or 5 cube. That is 5 into 125 divided by 8 into 125. Now what is 5 into 125? That is 625. And 8 into 125 is 2 cube into 5 cube or 10 cube or 1000. Now the denominator is 1000. There should be three digits after the decimal point, so we can write it as 0.625. Now the third problem, find the decimal forms of the following sums. 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8. 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 square plus 1 by 5 cube. Let us take 1 by 1. 1 by 2 is equal to 1 into 5 by 2 into 5 or 5 by 10 or 0.5. Now take 1 by 4. To make the denominator a power of 10, we have to multiply it by 25. So let us multiply both numerator and denominator by 25 and we can write 1 into 25 by 4 into 25 or that is equal to 25 by 100 or that is 0.25. Now 1 by 8. Here, to make the denominator a power of 10, we have to multiply it by 125. So let us multiply numerator and denominator by 125. So we get 1 into 125 divided by 8 into 125. 1 into 125 is 125 and 8 into 125 is 2 cube into 5 cube or 10 cube or 1000. And that is equal to 0.125. Therefore, 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.125. Let us add it together. 0.5 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.125. 5 plus 2 is 7 plus 1 is 8. Then 5 plus 2 is 7 and 5. So, 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 is 0 0.875. Next problem, 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 square plus 1 by 5 cube. Let us take 1 by 5 at first. Let us multiply both numerator and denominator by 2. 
we get 2 by 10 or 0.2. Now 1 by 5 square. Let us multiply both numerator and denominator by 2 square. So we get 1 into 2 square by 5 square into 2 square. 2 square is 4. 1 into 2 square is again 4. 5 square into 2 square is 10 square that is 100. So this can be written as 4 by 100 or 0 0.04. Now 1 by 5 cube. Let us multiply both numerator and denominator by 2 cube to make the denominator a power of 10. So we get 1 into 2 cube divided by 5 cube into 2 cube. 1 into 2 cube is 8 and 5 cube into 2 cube is 10 cube or 1000 and that is equal to 0 0.008. Therefore, 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 square plus 1 by 5 cube equal to 0.2 plus 0 0.04 plus 0 0.008. Let us add it together. 0.2 plus 0 0.04 plus 0 0.008. 2 plus 0 plus 0 is 2. 4 plus 0 is 4 and 8. So that is equal to 0.248 or 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 square plus 1 by 5 cube equal to 0.248. Now let us do problems of page 26 of the textbook. First problem, write the fractions below in decimal form. 3 by 20, 3 by 40, 13 by 40, 7 by 80 and 5 by 16. Let us take one by one. First one, 3 by 20. Here the denominator is 20. We have to make it a power of 10. When we multiply 20 by 5, we get 100. In order to understand it easily, let us factorize 20. Let us divide 20 by 2. We get 10. Again, we can divide it by 2. We get 5. So 20 can be written as 2 square into 5. 2 square should be multiplied by 5 square to get 10 square. There is only 1 5. So we have to multiply this by 5 or we have to multiply 20 by 5 to get 100 a power of 10. So let us multiply both numerator and denominator by 5. We get 3 into 5 by 20 into 5. 3 into 5 is 15 and 20 into 5 is 100. So let us write it as 15 by 100 and that is equal to 0.15. Second problem, 3 by 40. Let us factorize 40 at first. When we divide 40 by 2, we get 20. Again, we can divide it by 2, we get 10. Again, we can divide it by 2, we get 5. So, 40 can be written as 2 cube into 5. 2 cube should be multiplied by 5 cube to get 10 cube. There is only 5 raised to 1. So we have to multiply it by 5 square or we have to multiply 40 by 5 square or 25 to get a power of 10. So let us multiply both numerator and denominator by 5 square. 3 into 5 square by 40 into 5 square. 5 square is 25. So we can write it as 3 into 25. And 40 into 5 square is 2 cube into 5 cube or 10 cube or 1000. So that is equal to 75 by 1000. There should be 3 digits after the decimal point. So we can put a 0 here and we can write it as 0 0.075. Now the third problem 13 by 40. We have already factorized 40 and we have seen that 40 equal to 2 cube into 5 cube. So we have to multiply both numerator and denominator by 5 square. That is 13 by 40 equal to 13 into 5 square by 40 into 5 square. 5 square is 25. So we can write it as 13 into 25 divided by 40 into 5 square is 1000. Now 13 into 25 is 325. Therefore, we can write it as 325 divided by 1000. There should be 3 digits after the decimal point. So, we can write it as 0.325. Now, the fourth part, 7 by 80. 
Let us factorize 80 at first. When we divide 80 by 2, we get 40. Again, if you divide it by 2, we get 20. Again, if you divide it by 2, we get 10. Again, if you divide it by 2, we get 5. So, 80 can be written as 2 raised to 4 into 5. 2 raised to 4 must be multiplied by 5 raised to 4 to get 10 raised to 4. That is, 80 must be multiplied by 5 cube to get 10 raised to 4. So, let us multiply both numerator and denominator by 5 raised to 3. So, we can write 7 by 80 equal to 7 into 5 cube divided by 80 into 5 cube. 5 cube is 125 and 80 into 5 cube is 2 raised to 4 into 5 raised to 4 or 10 raised to 4 or 10,000. So, we can write it as 7 into 125 divided by 10,000. Now, 7 into 125 is 875 divided by this 10,000. There should be 4 digits after the decimal point. So, we can put a 0 here and we can write it as 0 0.0875. Now, the next problem, 5 by 16. Let us factorize 16 at first. When we divide it by 2, we get 8. Again, if you divide it by 2, we get 4. Again, if you divide it by 2, we get 2. So, we can write 16 equal to 2 raised to 4. And we know 2 raised to 4 must be multiplied by 5 raised to 4 to get 10 raised to 4. So, let us multiply both numerator and denominator by 5 raised to 4. And we can write it as 5 into 5 raised to 4 divided by 16 into 5 raised to 4. 5 raised to 4 is 625 and 16 into 5 raised to 4 is 2 raised to 4 into 5 raised to 4 or 10 raised to 4 or 10,000. So, we can write it as 5 into 625 divided by 10,000. Now, 5 into 625 is 3,125. So, we can write it as 3,125 divided by 10,000. There should be 4 digits after the decimal point, so we can write it as 0.3125. Next problem, find the decimal form of the sums below. 1 by 5 plus 1 by 25 plus 1 by 125. 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 square plus 1 by 5 cube plus 1 by 5 raised to 4. 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 2 cube. Let us take 1 by 1. 1 by 5 plus 1 by 25 plus 1 by 125. We have already done this problem as 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 square plus 1 by 5 cube. We know 1 by 5 is 0.2. 1 by 25 is 1 into 4 divided by 25 into 4 or 4 by 100 or 0 0.04. And 1 by 125 is 1 into 8 divided by 125 into 8. That is 8 by 1000 or 0 0.008. Therefore, 1 by 5 plus 1 by 25 plus 1 by 125 equal to 0.2 plus 0 0.04 plus 0 0.008. And that is equal to 0.248. That is 1 by 5 plus 1 by 25 plus 1 by 125 is equal to 0.248. Second problem, 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 square plus 1 by 5 cube plus 1 by 5 raised to 4. We know 1 by 5 is 0.2. We have done it so many times. And 1 by 5 square is 0 0.04. And 1 by 5 cube is 0 0.008. Now, let us find 1 by 5 raised to 4. To make the denominator a power of 10, we have to multiply 5 raised to 4 by 2 raised to 4. So, let us multiply both numerator and denominator by 2 raised to 4. That is 1 into 2 raised to 4 divided by 5 raised to 4 into 2 raised to 4. 2 raised to 4 is 16. 1 into 2 raised to 4 is 16. And 5 raised to 4 into 2 raised to 4 is 10 raised to 4 or 10,000. So, we can write it as 16 divided by 10,000. And there should be 4 digits after the decimal point. 
so we can write it as 0 0.0016 now 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 square plus 1 by 5 cube plus 1 by 5 raised to 4 is equal to 0.2 plus 0 0.04 plus 0 0.008 plus 0 0.0016 let us add it together 0.2 plus 0 0.04 plus 0 0.008 plus 0 0.0016 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 2 this is 4 8 plus 1 is 9 and 6 so we get 0.2496 next part 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 2 cube we have seen that 1 by 2 equal to 0.5 1 by 2 square is 1 into 5 square by 2 square into 5 square or 25 by 100 or 0.25 and 1 by 2 cube equal to 1 into 5 cube divided by 2 cube into 5 cube or 125 divided by 1000 or that is equal to 0.125 we have converted all these fractions into decimals so many times so i think no need of more explanation so 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 2 cube equal to 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.125 let us add it together and we get 0 0.875 that is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 2 cube equal to 0.875. Next problem. A two digit number divided by another two digit number gives 5.875. What are the numbers? When a two digit number is divided by another two digit number, the result is 5.875. Let us take 5.875. There are three digits after the decimal point. So we can write it as 5875 divided by 1000. Now take this fraction. Both these numbers can be divided by 5. So let us divide this number by 5. 1 5 is 5. And in 8 there is again a 5. And 3 remainder. In 37 there are 7 5s. 2 remainder and in 25 there are 5 files. In the same way in 1000 there are 200 files. Again we can divide these numbers by 5. When we divide this number by 5 we get 235 and when we divide 200 by 5 we get 40. Again we can divide these numbers by 5. When we divide this number by 5, we get 47 and when we divide this number by 5, we get 8. So, 5875 divided by 1000 is equal to 47 by 8. This is a two digit number, but this is not a two digit number. We need both two digit numbers. So let us multiply both numerator and denominator by 2. Then we get 94 divided by 60. Now both are two digit numbers. Therefore, when we divide the two digit number 94 by the two digit number 16, we get 5.875 or the numbers are 94 and 16. Hope you have understood. Let me know your feedback and suggestions through the comment box. I will be back with the remaining part. Till then, bye.